Hey, what's up everybody? This is Marcos and in today's video, we're going to take a look at how to create a multi-cam uh, editing sequence in Final Cut Pro X. So the reason you would want to do this is if you have multiple cameras uh, recording the same thing. So on a recent shoot I did for some clients, I shot testimonials and I used two cameras. So what I want to do is I want to create a multi-cam sequence to make it easier for me to switch between the two cameras. Also recorded audio separately, so I want to make sure everything is, is in sync and uh, the multi-cam makes it very easy. So let's just jump right into it and I'm going to show you how I did that. Uh, so here we have uh, this person called Chris and I already named the cameras. This was the first camera. This is the second camera and I think I stopped it and I hit record again. So that's why I have a 2A and 2B. This is the first one and this comes right after it. And then, um, so then there's the audio. So we got to make sure we select all these three clips and the audio clip. So if I select that and then we look for the audio for Chris, we hit command and we select it and all four files are selected. So we want to create a new multi-cam clip. Usually I do a synchronized clip when I only have one camera angle, but this in this case we have two. So if we hit a uh, new multi-cam clip, we can rename it uh, Chris Multi. And then we're going to use the audio for synchronization. You can change all, um, some of these settings here. Usually I export in 1080p. You can change that or you can leave it at 4K, however you want. So uh, usually I don't change anything here. I just leave it as it is. So we're going to hit OK. And what it's going to do right now, as soon as it stops loading, here we have the, um, it created the sequence. And as you can see here, we have all the angles. This is the first camera, which I never stopped recording. But here, the second angle, I stopped for a brief a uh, couple seconds. That's why I have two clips. But uh, luckily, the multicam can synchronize it without any problem. And here, down here, is the audio, which I recorded separately. So that that's all we need to do for the multicam. Now we just need to create a new project. File, new, project. Again, we're going to name it Chris. And usually, I export at 1080p, so I change the video format. Hit OK. It's going to create a new project. And now we can drag this, um, this Chris multi-cam sequence over to the project. And that's it. OK. So that's the first step. Um, we have the multi-clips, uh, the sequence we imported it into our project. Now we can close out the, um, the, the import window. And from here, in order to look at the different angles, we got to select view, show angles, or command shift seven. And as you can see here, you have the, uh, the different angles. So that's camera one, camera two. And if we want to switch between the first angle and go to the second angle, the only thing we need to do is uh, make sure this this playhead is at the exact spot where we want to switch over to the next camera. And the only thing we do is select the second angle. So now if we play this, it goes from the first angle to the second camera. Uh, so basically that's how you do it. You just play it. And if you need to cut anything, let's say I don't like this first part, I need to get rid of it. Uh, uh, the only thing I need to do is select it and you would edit this this timeline just like you would normally. So hopefully this gives you a, a quick overview of how to use a multicam. Uh, there's a little bit of a learning curve, but I'm pretty sure, you know, with this basics, uh, you can get started with it. And uh, please let me know if you have any questions or if I, I wasn't clear about anything. I would love to answer those questions. So drop them down in the comment section. So I hope this helps you. And as always, thank you for watching and I'll see you guys on the next episode.